It's not often you see a Damien Hurst on the side of a brick building or a war scene overlooking traffic. An installation by Anish Kapoor in front of an apartment block. Art Everywhere is bringing Britain's greatest works of art to the streets all over the country for two weeks. I think it's amazing to have access to art in the underground and on the streets, on the billboards. I think it's really incredible, actually. I think it's a good idea because it gives uh, people who don't go to art galleries the opportunity just to wander across art. If uh, people don't have time to go to museum, they can uh, see it on the street. It's more better than advertise. It's accessible, it's free, uh, and the public can enjoy it whenever and however. For example, when shopping, on your way to work, or waiting for a bus. We're all accustomed to optical stimulation, but usually from the world of advertising. Now you can see works of art instead, like John Singer Sargent's Gast. Sir John Everett Millay's painting Ophelia is on show in Hackney. And a bus trip to Westminster Abbey also includes free art. All over Britain, the country's greatest artists like Lucian Freud are being shown on more than 20,000 posters and billboards. The entrepreneur Richard Reed came up with the idea for this open-air gallery. I used to walk to work every day down a fairly rough street in London, but on it someone had put up this beautiful picture and it wasn't there for any other reason than it was just this thing of great beauty. And we were talking about this and how it gave me a bit of a lift when I walked into work every morning. And we just thought, well, wouldn't it be amazing if you did that absolutely everywhere? The works of art for this unique nationwide exhibition were not selected by art critics. The public voted online for British masterpieces of the last six centuries. 57 of them were selected. Crowdfunding, with a minimum contribution of less than five euros, paid for the prints and the advertising industry donated the billboard space for free for two weeks. It's not the real art, but it's a stepping stone. And these are like big advertisements for museums, big advertisements for art as a concept in, in people's lives. And I would be amazed if these posters don't send people into museums, they will. Sir Peter Blake, a pioneering figure of British pop art, hopes that art everywhere will stimulate interest in painting. I, I'd prefer that people went and saw the painting, but perhaps they will. Perhaps they'll pass it here and find out where it is and go and see it. So, so it's, it's not as good as looking at the original, but it, it's okay, you know, I'm glad it's, it, it's in addition to that. Blake designed the famous cover for the Beatles' Sgt. Pepper's album. That, too, has been reproduced. A phone app reveals which museums the original works of art are actually displayed in. Art lovers all over Britain are now looking for the pictures. Photo galleries have been put online with pictures from Glasgow, Norwich, Manchester and elsewhere, posted on Facebook and Twitter. I have to confess, I did walk up here earlier on and didn't see it. I've seen a few on the underground, around, like, one around by the tube and another one while you're walking through the station. Um, but I haven't seen many more than that. The pictures aren't always conspicuous. Outside the museum, they sometimes get lost in all the other visual distractions of the city. But the organizers hope to do this again. It is relatively cheap to do it, but it takes a lot of goodwill and a lot of effort to do it. So I th what, I'll be interested, A, if we do it next year, and B, if it takes off elsewhere in the world. And I have a sneaking suspicion that it will. Art Everywhere has made Britain the world's biggest open-air gallery, with another week still to go.